So what is going on everybody? Fernando Silva here with another video and if you guys have followed the channel then you'll probably know that like the top four out of my top five videos are all related to Microsoft Office on the iPad Pro right here. There's a huge market for people that want to use a professional service like Microsoft Office to use Word, PowerPoint, Excel but have it in a package like on the iPad Pro where it's easy to use, it's very versatile so you can use it in tablet mode, in kind of laptop mode, you can use it and use it between all your iOS and iPadOS devices but the number one complaint that comes with people using Microsoft Office is first, the question is, is it free? And secondly, once people do start paying for it, they feel like it's not really worth it, especially with other kind of companies out there that do the same thing for either cheaper or for free. So in today's video, only Office actually reached out to me about their product. I played with it for about a month or so, and honestly, I absolutely love it. In my opinion, this is a Microsoft Office killer for any device, but right now we're gonna be focused on the iPad Pro, but it also works on Mac OS, iOS, on Windows, on Linux. You name the operating system, only Office will work. And the number one thing about only Office is that it's absolutely free, it's not even freemium. Like you can use their service infinitely with zero money out of your pocket. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the features, the ins and outs, and exactly what they have to offer, and see if it's a good enough alternative to Microsoft Office for you to forget about Office and just go straight to only Office. Let's get into this video. Okay, so let's get started with this video, everybody. The first thing I do wanna show off is their website. So OnlyOffice, obviously they got a website. We're gonna open it up right here. And this is what you're dealing with, right? So their motto is run your private office with OnlyOffice. And the part that I'm mostly interested in is the mobile version, so the iOS and iPadOS version. So we'll go into that in a second. But they have two different, I guess, products. But again, everything is totally free. So they have the OnlyOffice docs, which gives you the spreadsheets, the documents, the presentations. And there's also the only office workspace, which allows you to create your own cloud, which I'll show you guys how to do that because it is free still to do to create your own cloud. And that way you can start to collaborate with people in real time, have a CRM, have your own mail service. You probably have to pay for your own domain and your own mail and things like that. But know that you have the ability to create your own cloud and then run that and share it with an organization. So I see this being an instrumental tool for somebody that doesn't know much about setting up an infrastructure because Lord knows that it should be getting easier and easier and it is. And for somebody that just doesn't want to commit to Microsoft Office and have to deal with all them and you know creating a business account with them to maybe run a small business. So I see this being twofold, useful for the single person like myself, but also if you have a small team of five to 10, maybe even bigger, as long as you're willing to manage it, but do it all free from only Office's cloud. So here's the actual application. It's just three things stacked over each other for the three main products, which is like, the doc editor, the Excel sheet, and then also the presentation editor. So this is what you're greeted with when you open it up. You have your only office, which is your actual cloud, which is on here right now. And then you have another way to access your cloud to be able to integrate with other cloud services. So you don't have to use your cloud if you don't want to. Let's say you are paying for iCloud or Nextcloud or Dropbox or OneDrive. You can easily link your office clouds into only office, which is great. So let's show off exactly what we got going on. So I'm gonna open up one of the samples first just to see what the capabilities are like. So let's open this up. It takes a second to open. And the first thing that you're gonna notice, especially with the iPad OS version, is that it looks a little bit watered down when you first look at it. But the only reason it's like that is for simplicity's sake. From a feature standpoint, everything is there. It's just kind of hidden away and it takes a little bit to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it's so, so easy. So here we have a simple document that has everything that you would need in a doc. So it's got a nice little header picture. It's got the welcome to only office different color text, different size text. So we are proud to present the first HTML5 canvas-based online document editor. You know, you have your bullet points here, your ability to add links, your ability to add charts. So what I'm gonna do now is actually go back, which is this little up arrow on the top left. So this is the test document that I created. So you can see I have like a little chart down here. So what I'm gonna do first is just do a simple little text edit, right? So I'm gonna select all, get rid of that. And then what you're gonna do is actually click on here and this is where you have all your text editor stuff, right? So you can see that it does work with iPadOS 15 and higher, so it does have that cool cursor support. So you can hover over things and it does kind of like gravitate towards it, just like the Microsoft applications. You have the text editor here, so hey, my name is Fernando. Let's see if hotkeys work. So if I highlight Apple A, we'll do Apple B. So you do get the actual hotkeys that work. Let's go to italicize it, so everything does get italicized. And then you can obviously change the font, change the size so we can make it bigger. We can change it to Anton, which is one of my favorite ones. So from a simple text editor so far, it does work. Now let's see what this plus button does. Cause you can see again, it does work with iPad OS. So I'll press on the plus button and here you have the ability to add a bunch of different things, right? So if I want to add, let's say a chart, 
you get to decide how big it is. So let's do two, let's do three columns and five rows. Add it in there. Let's add names in there, you know, totals, GPA, if you want to write some random stuff down. So it works just like any other text editor would with charts and things like that. So if I want to get out of here, we can keep typing outside of that. Press enter a couple times. The tab button does work. So, hey, this is a new paragraph. And you can see that as you're typing, it does intuitively start to know exactly what you're doing, right? So down here, you have it bolded, italicized. The underline still isn't there. But you can change the actual font again from here. You can indent, outdent. You know, you can do a page break from here. You can add bullets. So if I want to add a bullet right here, let's do one of these. So it does indent and bullet whatever I'm using or whatever I'm talking about. But let's see what other options I have. So on the plus, you have the actual ability to add different charts and they have a, an abundance of different, I guess, templates that you can use with different colors, different outlines and things like that. You have the ability to add pictures. So if I want to do a picture from my library, allow access to all photos. Let's do one of these. Let's see what that looks like. And boom, there you go. Can I make it smaller? Of course I can. Can I make it bigger? Yes. Make it thin it out. You also have the ability to rotate it if you want. So put it underneath the paragraph. So all things that are very easy to use. So, so far it's working just like a Microsoft Word document would. And then if we continue to press the plus button, you also have the ability to add shapes, add a text box, you know, a couple arrows if you want, move it around to anywhere that you want to do. So if you do want to point at this, you're more than happy to. You definitely can. You can even adjust the size of the arrow, how thin you want the arrow to be. So if I wanted to be tiny like that and make it look funny, you can also do that. So that's a funny looking arrow. It looks like a dumbbell, if anything, or a spaceship, right? And then if you go to the plus sign one more time, you have these three dots. You can add a comment, a page break, a section break. You can add a link if you want to. So the type of link that you would want, a page number. So on the left top, I want a page number every single time. So that's there. If I want to do Apple Z, does that work? Yeah. So your undo keys do work and your redo keys also work. So overall, as a text editor, it works great. You also have the ability to collaborate with people. So if you do open up your own little cloud, you do have the ability to invite people to your documents. Click on here view different comments, do a document review if you want, so you can track every single change that happens, review the changes, accept all the changes. So it works just like any other collaborative software. And then you can search within the actual text. So if I want to do, hey, there it is. It's there a couple times. So very easy to work with. And then in the settings menu, you have the ability to export and you can export it in pretty much any file that you want. So if you are a single person and the people that you're working with do use Microsoft Office, you can easily export it as a docx, as a .x as well. Or export it as a regular PDF or a PDF A and then you have ODT and OTT which I'm gonna be honest I don't know what those mean but they're there if you do need them so that is the Microsoft Word equivalent from only office it is their text editor and again we're talking about something that's totally free for iOS iPad OS Mac OS Windows Linux Android you name it it's absolutely free okay so now that we got the word editor out of the way let's go into a spreadsheet sample so this is the one where I think is Again, for something that is free to you, think about the cheapest version of Microsoft Office. I think it's $8 a month and that comes with very, very minimal use. So this, in my opinion, does beat all the online versions of Office. So if you are a student, which I think is the only way to get it for free and you're limited to only the online version and to five gigs of total storage online. So keep that in mind. But again, this is totally free. And this sample I think is perfect because it gives you an illustration of all the capabilities that you get from here. As you can see, we have a normal spreadsheet on here. So we have the USA Rio 2016, the total metal count over here. You have the ability to do anything that you would with an Excel file, at least from a basic standpoint. So if you go down here, you can see the totals. You can see that it is the sum of all these right here. So if I wanted to do another one, so we'll go in here, press equals the sum and then close that up. You can see that it does add up nicely. So little simple formulas are accessible through here. And you can see that in here, every single one has a little formula, even down here in the total. So you have the sum of G3 to G27. You also have the ability to create a chart. So if I want to go in here, same concept and same rules apply that we talked about with the word editor. So all of your options are in that little plus button. So for instance, if I want to create a line graph, I'll just grab this, highlight them all, or press the little plus button, go here, create a line graph, and then you can see, boom, instantly a line graph is created intuitively in a smart way. We have gold, silver, bronze, and totals all added up. So you have the rank on the bottom and then the overall amount of actual metals that are won on the actual Y axis. So that's awesome to see. And again, you can move this, make it bigger, right? Make it smaller if you want, make it tiny, and then organize it however you see fit. So you can see if I click on the actual chart itself, and let, let me click off it real quick, but if I click on the chart itself, you can see what information is being shown on the chart because it does highlight in the background. And then the actual edit button changes so you can edit the actual information on the chart itself versus if I click on just an empty cell and I click on here, then you're back to your text editor, right? So you have a fill color. So if I want to make this yellow, I can do that. 
you know, I made it blue right there. If I want to change the font in there to make it all Nile, double click in there and just say hello. So that's in there. So it really adapts to exactly what you're using and what you're using inside of the sheet itself. Obviously, you have the ability to add multiple sheets down here. Looks like you can actually duplicate them, delete them, hide them. So all the information, everything that you would need from an Excel editor is in here. And then again, you do have the ability to add comments and collaborate in real time if you are on a cloud. And then finally, you can export everything just like you would a regular spreadsheet, right? You can export in a bunch of different files, an XLSX file, you can export in a PDF. So overall, loving the functionality. And again, I'm gonna keep reminding people that it's absolutely free. Like leave a comment down below what you guys use as your main kind of productivity hub. Is it Google Workplace? or Google Workspaces because that is technically free and it's kind of easy to use. You can collaborate, you can do all the same things, but it's pretty limited in its functionality in my opinion. Then you have Microsoft Office, which again is Microsoft Office. They're a juggernaut, they know what they're doing, but it does cost money to use. Then you have the iWork suite, which is for pretty much only Mac users and iOS users. And it is free to use, but only for those types of users. So leave a comment down below what you guys do use. And now lastly, let's talk about the presentation editor. So let's go into the sample again. I like to see exactly what they got going on and how they're showing everything off. So how they throw out a challenge, you have, again, it just seems like it's a PowerPoint presentation built for the iPad. So everything is editable. So it looks like I can go in here, change exactly what the words are. So go in here, highlight it all, and just say, hello, I'm Fernando. I can go in here, double click on there and say, don't forget to sub even though it's kind of inside the words. So again, this is a sample that they show off, but I do wanna add another slide and kind of start from scratch. So let's do a title slide and say, hello. So it works just like any other PowerPoint. You have a footer down here, you know, page one. You have the date down here, which is nice. You have the actual page number right down there. But then you also have the ability to change out the layout. So if I wanna edit anything, we'll click on here. Let's do the layout itself. I wanna do, you know, one of these instead, right? So you can do that just like a normal PowerPoint presentation. If I wanna change it to something like this maybe, change up the theme totally, let's go back. What else do we have? We can add transitions, so effect type. So we're gonna fade it, we're gonna do like a four second duration. I want it to be through black. And then the background itself, you can change to any, any color that you would want if you are starting with a plain one. So that's good to know from an editing standpoint. And again, it is intuitive. So if I'm clicking on here and then go to the edit button, now I'm working with my text editor and talking about font size, talking about font type and font color and all the additional formatting that I would need, adding bullets, line spacing. So I love the intuitiveness of this application so far. And it just baffles me that somebody's offering all this for free. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how they make money. <laughs> I don't know how people that offer free services like this make money. But if you do wanna press the plus button, you do have the ability to, again, add a chart in here, add images from your library. So if I wanted to do something with my dog in here, you know, we can resize it. We can turn them to the side a little bit for effect, throw them in the corner if I want. So if I click on the plus sign, again, images, you can add different charts depending on what you're using. So if I wanna click on this, and it sends me over to an Excel sheet that I was working on, we can go back and then there it is. So this is the actual diagram that I'm working with. And if you do wanna actually edit that, you have the ability to do that just like you would any other chart. And then finally, you do have the ability to, again, collaborate in real time if needed. You can search within the actual document whenever you need to. And then the settings, the export, you can do PPTX. Again, if you're working with somebody who uses primarily Microsoft Office products, easy to work with, PDF, and all the other ones that you would need in order to get that done. And then we'll get out of here, we'll save it, and that's pretty much it when it comes to the three main products that they have. So one of the final things that I do wanna mention is their cloud service. So if you go to this tab, the reason that this looks a little bit different, so let's say you used it for the first time, if you click on the only office, it's gonna ask you to create your own cloud. Now don't think it's something crazy, it's really not that hard. All you do is you give your first, your last name, you give a URL that you would want, so mine is nandoprince93, and then you put a password. That's all you have to do. And inside of here is where you can start to save documents into their cloud. So you have my documents, shared with me, favorites, recents, comments, in the middle of a project, and then your trash, obviously. So it works just like any other cloud service that you would think about, like Google Drive, like OneDrive, Dropbox, any that you would want to. It's just another file service and another way to, again, make sure that if you wanna have something open from your only office documents on your phone, on your Mac OS device, on your iPad OS device, it's all in one hub versus having to manually move them around if you just have them on device. And then lastly, like I mentioned, you have the ability to connect all your different cloud services. So your iCloud drive, if you want to, you know, your OneDrive, if you have OneDrive, maybe you're moving from Microsoft Office to only Office. Because again, if you are a minimal user of Microsoft Office and you're, and you're spending $8 a month for no real reason, jump on something like only Office because it is free. It's super easy to use. It, it works very well on the iPad Pro. And so far I've been liking all the features 
and then some. And then lastly, we can go into the settings. You can add a little passcode lock. You know, you have your cache, your files preview, the about, the support, the introduction tour if you want to get started with it. So you can swipe through, work with office files, third party storage, edit documents locally, collaborate with your team. So everything that you would want from a cloud service, you know, productivity suite provider is there. And guess what, guys? It's absolutely free. So let's get out of this view, finish off this video. Again, shout out OnlyOffice for reaching out because I would not have heard about this service if they didn't reach out to me about a month or two ago. And then I realized just how powerful and how useful this could be. So that's why I wanted to share it with everybody. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, I'm absolutely stunned that this service is completely free to use. For Word documents, for Excel documents, and for PowerPoint documents, look no further, especially if you wanna stay inside of that Microsoft design language. And one of my biggest fears is that maybe it would be kind of a watered down version or a web version of Microsoft Office, but no, only Office provides you with full versions of their version of Excel, full versions of a document editor, and then a full version of a PowerPoint editor as well, and PowerPoint creator. So, Overall, very happy with OnlyOffice, so shout out to them for reaching out to try out their product because I think this is an absolute recommendation, especially for those people that are just by themselves, need some sort of document editor or need some sort of PowerPoint creation tool or something to manage Excel documents. This is gonna be perfect because it's totally free. You can export it in any type of file format that you want. So if you need a PDF or if you need a docx or a CSV file or a PPTX, so whatever file format that you live in. So let's say you are collaborating with people that are on Microsoft Office, only Office is gonna be totally fine when you are sharing that stuff. And also they have a collaboration feature so it does work with collaboration in real time. For something that's absolutely free that works across all of your devices, this is a no brainer. So only Office for iPad OS, iOS, Mac OS, Windows, Android, Linux, the list goes on. Big shout out to OnlyOffice for kind of bringing to light this software and this service because I absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend it. It's gonna be down in the description below if you guys do wanna check it out and are looking for an alternative to be using on your iPad especially because I love being able to do real professional work on my iPad on the go. That is just the perfect situation whenever I need to have that done. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave a little dolphin if you guys made it to the end because I always like to see how many people do make it to the end of these videos. But that's pretty much gonna do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out.